Hey guys, Peter Von Panda here, and uh, I just want to show you uh, the workaround that I have come up with for cutting away in an iOS iMovie video to a photo without losing the audio portion of the video track. So, for example, if you are watching a news broadcast and they cut away to a picture of the event, you still hear the audio of the news reporter talking about the event, and then they cut back to the video. You can create that kind of effect in iMovie, but it's kind of difficult the way they, they make you do it right now. So you, what you would have to do is if I take this video here and add it, you actually have to find where you want to cut away to the photo and split the video like that, find the end of where you want that video to, or that photo, that image to stop, and split the video again. Then you have to take this piece where you don't want the video, but just want the audio, and go to audio, and then detach the audio, and then insert a photo, and then, then uh, overlay the detached audio with the photo you want, then get rid of the excess video, and then sync up the audio and video. So I don't want to do any of that because it's it gets a little tedious. And on top of that, it actually, I have seen people do it as best as they can. And the videos tends, or the audio and the video tend to be just a little jumpy at the transitions because it's very hard. There doesn't seem to be an auto uh, meet to splice those audio tracks back in. So I want to show it a little easier. Hopefully, hopefully haven't uh, uh, confused you too much, but I just want to take a video have the whole video audio track run the entire time, but I want to cut away to a photo a couple times. And if you're doing video uh, product reviews on YouTube, this is gonna be very helpful where you're talking about, oh, the new iPhone and the features, and then you wanna cut away to a few photos of the, the particular feature set and then come back uh, to you uh, on camera or have your narration continue to run. The first thing you've got to do know though is that you can do those cutaways side by sides or picture in picture with another video. So you can have your main video and then another video um, uh, cutting away without having to do all of this splitting and detaching, etc. etc. So the key to the whole thing is to take the photos that you want to insert. Uh, into your video track and convert them into video. And that's just the simplest thing that I have found to do. You don't have to worry about spl splicing and syncing. And so in this case, I have a 30 second video that I created. It's a fake uh, news story about uh, Lucy Hale. And I wanna take, I'm gonna take, there's two points where I'm, I have two different photos that I'm referencing. And so all I wanna do is take the one photo, I'm gonna just drop it in here. Um, it's not as so important to figure out the length. You, it does need to have some length to the video, but you can actually slow down that video when you insert it and you can cr create, you can make it longer. So um, I know that I only need the, these photos in the video for a few seconds. So by default, it's gonna create about a seven second video here, no problem. Um, as you know, you can do like some Ken Burns manipulation. If you want any of that in the photo, you're, you're going to have to add it here before we export it to a video because you can't edit it once it's once it's out. And for speed uh, sake, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. So I'm going to take the first video. I'm going to go back here into my project and export it to, I'm going to save the video. Uh, and I'm just going to do um, a fairly low res here. Uh, and so I'm going to, I exported that to the camera roll. I'm going to go back into my project. Oops. Sorry, folks. Go back into my project and I'm going to get rid of this, this photo. I'm going to find the next photo that I need. I'm going to add that. It's going to create, oh, six seconds here, which is fine. I'm going to go back to my project and I'm going to export that photo as a video as well. So now the two photos that I want to reference. I have exported to video, which is going to be very helpful. So now I can go to my video. I can go to my fake news clip here and I'm going to scroll all the way to the beginning and I want to find the point where I, I reference that first picture. Hey guys, Peter Von Panta here. Hollywood starlet Lucy Hale is rumored to be a big fan of Peter Von Pan. So there, I just referenced her there and now I'm going to find this other video. I'm going to take the first one, which is just going to be a stock photo of her. I'm going to tap on the dot, 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 or the ellipses here. And I just want to totally cut away to it. So I'm going to select this first picture. And then it's going to insert it, as you can see, on top of 
my my kind of main video line. And if I scroll, scrub back and forth here, you can see it cuts away. But what it's going to keep doing is use my audio. So I'll just quick show you that right there. It's rumored to be a big fan of Peter Von Panda and the Peter Von Panda channel. While neither her nor her publicist would confirm these rumors, she did post evidence to her Instagram feed showing her getting rather saucy with this. Okay, and so now here's where I reference the second video. And again, I'm going to select that one, which we just created, tap the ellipses, and again, hit the the cutaway um, there and With hit play. Panda. For more information on Peter Von Panda, the wonderful pro And that one's probably a little long. I don't need it to go right to where um, we I talked about or I start changing the topic. For more information on Peter Von Panda. So I am going to just stretch that out just a little bit here and shrink it up here and they're saucy with this panda. For more information on Peter Von Panda. And pretty good. Good enough. Uh, good enough for government work at least. And so what I'm gonna go do now I go back to my project here and I'm just gonna go ahead and export. I'm gonna save this video. Um, it's going to just create the the final video using the two uh, photos that I created and converted into videos into one master file. I'm going to post that uh, and attach it to the video here so you can see what the final product looks like. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, it wasn't meant to be, but like I said, uh, it's a lot easier for me to take the photos I want, export them to videos, and do cutaways in uh, the main video than doing um, the, the splicing and the splitting. Uh, to insert your photographs. Now the downsides to this are when you export photos into videos, you're going to have more space taken up on your um, iPad or iPhone or whatever you're doing it on. So keep that in mind. You have to have some space uh, free to, to be able to do that. And uh, the second thing is you're not going to be able to manipulate that Ken Burns effect on the photos um, once they're created or once they're generated into a video. So um, just keep that in mind. But overall for the home um, and the armchair, videographer i think it's a it makes it a lot easier and uh a lot less tedious so peter von panda out hey guys peter von panda here hollywood starlet lucy hale is rumored to be a big fan of peter von panda and the peter von panda channel while neither her nor her publicist would confirm these rumors she did post evidence to her instagram feed showing her getting rather saucy with this panda for more information on Peter Von Panda, the wonderful product reviews that we do, and to see for yourself why celebrities all around the world are checking out PeterVonPanda.com, hit like, hit subscribe, and check out some videos below. Peter Von Panda out.